Representing the 25 to 28 foot class in the bay boat category, the Creval 26 Open has an overall length of 26 feet 6 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 350. Built to fish both inshore and offshore, she has a draft of 12 inches, a dead rise of 16 degrees, a dry weight of 3,600 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 83 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. George, good morning from the flybridge of the Creval 26 <laughs> Open. That is a flybridge. Woo, why are you down there? How about making me a sandwich and bring me what, a cold what, drink? What would you like? <laughs> I tell you what, this is a different kind of boat. Things are changing though, Rick. There's a lot of people that are offshore fishermen that want to bring their game inshore, and this boat fits that description perfectly. This boat has got a lot of wow factor. I mean, it's a trimmed out, custom looking boat. Why don't you climb on down out of there off your high horse and come down and we'll have okay, a look you're, around. Okay, you tell me I have to come down. You've right? got to come down. I'm on the way. All right. There's a whole lot to like, and it starts right here. I love the height of the bow. The trolling motor is the deadliest weapon that we've seen in offshore fishing in a long time, and you can't use one if your bow's too high. Absolutely. Well, this bow is just the perfect height for me. Let's talk about this seat right here. This thing is the most comfortable seat. I mean, <laughs> you haven't climbed in this thing. I want you to hop up in here and take a nap. It's unbelievable. A great use of the space. This box right here, I mean, you got a cooler underneath it with your bay tray that you've got to have. This thing does not get in your way at all. It's very easy to walk around. It's the perfect size, and I'm telling you, I have never sat in a more comfortable boat. And it doesn't take anything away from the boat. George, as we head back, I gotta show you this tower. That is not your average bay boat tower, I promise you. No, I've decided I've gotta have a tower now. After seeing a few tower boats this year, and this one especially, I gotta have one. Let me see this thing. Rick, this is one overbuilt top right here. Tell me how you liked it up there. I liked it, and the thing I like first about it, George, is the integrated steps. You don't even see them. It is so easy. The steps come up the side here. Talk about that electric sunroof, yeah, right? Yeah, Creval has done something very clever with that. Putting an electric sunroof is just ingenious. You know what? A tower is really important for a boat like this, Rick. It's useful offshore and inshore. If you're running on the beach, I mean, whether you're cobia fishing, tarpon fishing, whatever you do out there, you can see it all from up there. It's really key as a fishing tool and a navigation tool. You've got a duplicate of everything up top there, incidentally. There's a seven inch repeater up on top. You've got controls for the power pole, all your switches up there. This hard top is not the only thing that's really impressive about it. What sits underneath it, this console is absolutely beautiful. How do you like the trim around your dual screens? I mean, that's just beautiful. And this isn't not thought out. This has everything you need to hold your stuff here, including a lip to keep it from falling back on you. There's a bunch of room to store stuff inside this console. You can put a porta potty down in there. There's room for that too. There's tons of storage, access to these systems. Back here, this helm station, super comfortable. Again, well thought out. You got, I mean, the standard arrangement there. You've got a nice cooler on the bottom under a sliding track, rod holders across the back. But these seats, this upholstery, super plush very comfortable to drive from. If you want that bay boat characteristic in a boat, when we move to the back of the boat here, you're gonna see a beautiful casting deck. Let's take a look at this. Okay, Rick, you wanted a casting deck? You got it. I tell you what, you feel like you're back on a bay boat now. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I mean, and this is very fishable. I mean, it feels really comfortable up here to me. You got two live wells back here. There's a live well in the front too, but you got two nice live wells back here, 28 gallons a piece. You've got your seating back here. That has to go somewhere. You take that, put that stuff underneath it, make a nice casting surface. It's very easy to walk around up here. I mean, it's just, this is, now you're in a bay boat. I've never seen that splash well arrangement and that double step before. This, everything washes right off of the back. I like the two steps, getting to the swim ladder makes it a little easier to climb in and out of the boat. So George, if your heart's offshore, but you want to come inshore. Or if you're an inshore guy and you want to go offshore. I tell you what, that's Creval 26 open. It needs to be on your list. You need to see it for yourself.